Right then folks, how you doing? Vlog time again. Um, I'm at a place this time. I'm at Bestwood Duck Ponds. Bestwood Duck Pond. And I'm fishing Lake Five. That's where I'm fishing. Actually opted. I'll just let you have a quick look. There's my van there. And there's my setup. If I walk up here a little bit, I'll be able to see up the lake a bit better, folks. I'll show you the rest of the lake. I've been here a couple of hours, I've just really got set up. I might be able to see it better now. I'm fishing this end of the lake. The lake's about two and a half acres. And it goes right the way up there. There is a couple of blokes up there. There's a lad sat down and another bloke fishing. But normally this place gets absolutely solid. Yeah, when I came at the weekend, there was only two people fishing on here and they was fishing uh, here and a bit further up there. But everybody, every time I've been on here, everybody always does the same and fishes up that top end. I've fished it before, I've done 10 days on here altogether. Um, let me turn the camera around. So you can see my spot properly. I'll let you have a better look when the sun's out and it's not raining. Yeah, I've done 10 days on here before um, without a carp. I've tried loads of different tactics, but this place is absolutely rock solid. It's really hard. It's not very often the carp come out. Very low stock. Some people say there's only about 30 in here. Some people say there's about 50 in here. It varies in different depths up and down um, the spot where I'm fishing out there which is about here four wraps just over four wraps I'm in about three not no about four foot of water just under four foot of water and all I've done there is I've put a chod out um, just with a couple of handful of boilies around it because I know no one's been fishing there over the weekend so I know there's no bait there out there um, and I thought to myself do something different do something different to what everybody else does all the time everybody always fishes the same up there and you get the odd fish come out but they don't come out very often and yet when I was here last time there's another lad fishing in the middle where I fished before and he was fishing different, he was fishing halfway out with a mixture of pellet, chop boily and boily, and he was only catapulting really accurately over where he was fishing. And then he was fishing the bag over to the far side of the snags to the right. And he had two off of the, he had four fish altogether, two off of the right hand side of the snags and two out of the middle. And he also lost two fish as well. And that's the most I've ever seen anybody catch on here. Every other time I've fished it, I've only ever seen one of a lad catch a fish. Um, I mean, I could have gone on the other lake, it's raining now, look. I don't know if you could pick it up on the camera. But, yes, yeah, so I thought do something different. So, like I say, I've got that chod out there for now, which later on I'll swap to a bottom bait. And then... I don't know if you can pick it up just here, this is a set of lily pads, there's some snags here and there's some snags here. I'm fishing my rig just in front of these lilies and what I'm going to do is I'm going to fish along here with a bag in the daytime and the night time as well I think. Um, but if I don't have any joy after a couple of days I might and I get joy with my other rod, I might bring that rod over onto here. 
Um, I don't know how I see first. I don't really put hardly any bait in at all. All I'm doing is fishing a bag over there. Um, just with some pellet, mixed pellet in it and ground bait. And I've got a wafter. A yellow wafter on. With an inline lead set up to drop the lead. Um, and basically I've got them in. I just want to see how it goes. I'm not going to put loads of bait in. I have got particles with me. I've got hemp and corn and all sorts, pellet, you know, um, oils. I've got different boilies and everything. But I'm not going mad chucking a lot of bait in because this place is hard enough as it is. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. And then I shall sit up late tonight and listen. Excuse me. And listen and see. What I can hear tonight. I mean, last like previous times, let you watch the rods a minute. Previous times when I've been down here, I've tried a boily approach, a particle approach, a stick approach. I fished with all sorts of different things, and all I've ever done is have big bream. Now look at that, just there. I've baited up along here with a couple of handful of boilies and the boilies are soaked in oil and I've just had a, a spot come up here just here so there's a fish down there feeding on them boilies because the oil's just come up to the surface I don't know if you can pick that up on the camera just there so there's definitely fish out there on them boilies whether or not it's carp or if it's bream I don't know but that's a good sign that is that is a really good sign people He's chucking it down now, look. Absolutely chucking it down. I don't know if the camera's picking it up. It said it was going to do. It's forecast rain all week. God, I'm glad I've got my rods out. And set up. Oh, yes, people. Am I? Only trouble is, though, I've messed up. I've gone and forgot my head uh, lamps. My, both my head torches. God knows how I've done that. But I've, I've gone and forgot both of them. Both of my head torches. So I'm just going to have to manage with the bivvy light and the light on my camera and my phone. I should be alright. Because my bobbins are lit up anyway and the alarms are lit up. I thought I'm not driving all the way back home leaving my stuff here unattended. No way. Not in this tea leaves about. You never know, do you? So, you probably can't hear me very well now. I'm going to sign off for now because it's chucking it down. Absolutely chucking it down. And I just want to make sure the front of the bivvy and everything's put right away right. So I'll catch you in a bit, people. Over and out.